Hello everybody, it's me, Alex, and it's cold today, so that's why you can't see my ears or my hair, which is probably for the best because I've been wearing a hat for an hour and you know what, that will do to your hair. So, I'm recording a video because I'm mad about stuff, which, I mean, who isn't? But I'm not going to talk about, like, um, this morning I was listening to Democracy Now! and they just devoted, like, the entire hour of the episode to talking about the State of the Union and playing clips of Trump and I just spent a lot of time yelling at my phone and I just didn't really enjoy that. But that's not what I'm going to talk about because, you know, holy shit, Trump is a lying racist. Tell me something new. But, um, what I'm actually going to talk about, and I'm also not going to talk about the, the horrible, disgusting, homophobic, lying ass bags of science fiction that I was ranting about on Twitter yesterday, because, but, um, kind of tangentially related, I guess. There was also the, the absolute bullshit, like, about whatever the next Fantastic Beast, like, who, who gives a shit about those movies anyway, but it was like, oh, well, you know, how we're going to handle Dumbledore's homosexuality is, is we're not going to, ha it will be Sir not appearing in this film, and, um, you know, it's just that, that, it, it's not really, like, it's kind of no homo because, you know, Grindelwald and Dumbledore fell in love with each other's ideals, which is how gayness works, I guess. And I mean, that's, you know, just like part number 5,000 of, it's like after the year 2000 and you don't get credit for not showing your work. I mean, J.K. Rowling already got like a big ol' F for being like, oh, Dumbledore was totally gay I, in this statement where I retconned my own work that for a thing that doesn't actually appear in the books. Like, that doesn't actually fucking count, by the way. Like, so... It's just like a double fail when it's a thing that, that she retconned into her own work and then the cowardly movie studio is like, oh, but we're, we're not going to even have this in here at all. Because, I mean, Matt Wallace has like the, made this beautiful rant on Twitter about it yesterday, which was basically just, first off, you know, if, if, the, if this is the audience you're chasing that are people that are going to be so horrified by homosexuality that they're not going to show up to a fucking Harry Potter movie, you don't need those people anyway. It's a Harry Potter movie. It's going to make a bajillion dollars anyway. Stop being cowards because at that point it is cowardice. And, you know, your writers do your fucking job. Like, this isn't hard. And, um, you know, there, there's also, like, I, I don't know if there's, like, an international movie release concern, but uh, honestly, I also don't give a fuck, because we keep hearing about Hollywood being liberal and la la la, but, you know, this is a reminder that the people who hold the purse strings are often extremely not liberal, because they're rich and they want their money back, and they care about money more than their supposed principles about, you know, caring about queer people if they even pretend to at all. I don't know, I'd have to know what the financing on this movie looks like. But it does kind of loop back to the whole, like, just fighting to have gay people or queer people, you know, trans people, ace and arrow people, just, you know, non-cis heterosexual people in media at all. And, and that we're still having this fight is just ridiculous anyway. And it's really annoying. And then, you know, it just makes me think when I was bitching about the, the heterosexuality you know, default of Star Wars, and I had people come at me with that were basically like, well, there's no room to, like, show the blah, blah, blah in Star Wars, and, and also, well, how do you know they're not gay? And, and so, just in case you, you missed out on, like, this 101 level thing, I will go over it really quick. The whole point is that there are default assumptions that everyone makes about characters just because how the media we consume is set up. So like as a default, if you are not explicitly told that a character is not white, then people will tend to assume when, uh, when they're reading a book, obviously, because it's kind of hard to not notice those things when you're like watching TV, but people will assume unless they are, they have their nose rubbed in it, that a character is white unless they're explicitly told not. And as we saw with the Hunger Games, with all those really awful people whining about Rue being black, like, what the fuck is wrong with you? You know, I don't care if it had 
been race bent anyway, but you know, Rue was explicitly described as black in the Hunger Games books and people still managed to, to imagine to themselves that she was white. So, I mean, consider that. And then part of that is also this default assumption that unless you get your nose rubbed in it or you're told or the per or their character self identifies, they're assumed to be straight. And, you know, there's been a lot of hay made in fan fiction about being like, well, we're never explicitly told this person is straight, so let's write about them being queer. But the reason I do not accept that as like, you know, oh, there's plenty of, of gay all over this stuff anyway, is because the reason I go through and assume that characters are queer when I'm not told otherwise is because I'm a queer person. And frankly, the people who need to have it rubbed in their faces that queer people exist in this world and have a place in the stories that we tell ourselves are the people who are going to assume everyone is straight. So that in and of itself is why this is an important thing that I keep hammering on because the, pe the people who need to understand that queer people exist are the very people who will assume we don't if you don't basically write it on their face in Sharpie, you know, backwards so that when they look at it in the mirror, they can actually like read, hey, gay people exist. So that's why I keep coming back to it just being important that queer people exist at all in, in mass media. And I mean, that, that we occasionally get to exist is pretty fantastic, but when we're talking major franchises like Star Wars and Marvel movies and Harry Potter, where there is literally a character that has been retconned to be gay by the author, and they're still like, you know, hiding behind, you know, being like, oh, haha, no, we're, we're not gonna address it because reasons, that is why it's important. Now, I'm also gonna note, like, there's kind of two parts to this this whole discussion to have, and I'm, I'm only just talking about the fact of the existence of gay people, because there's a whole other level of once you, you have like a queer, you know, the existence of gay people, queer people, etc. I'm just gonna keep saying queer people as like the umbrella term, and if you don't like the word queer, I'm sorry, but I'm not gonna stop using it because it's my word, um, and I fought for it. And so, Anyway, there, there's kind of two levels to this. First off, queer people existing at all. You know, like that in and of itself is a huge victory when it happens. And second off, having a queer character and actually getting them to, to act, you know, like a queer person. Like, you know, if you have a, a, a lesbian character actually like letting her go make out with a hot lady or something, which is like a whole different thing that I'm not even going to address because, you know, that gets into how to, how to properly write queer characters and da da da. But, you know, I, I just want to even be like, just let them fucking exist. And you often hear about, oh my God, but it's so hard. You know, how am I supposed to tell people that the character is, is queer without it being like super awkward or whatever. And I'm sorry, but that's bullshit. It is super bullshit. And I'm going to note, like, I, I think straight cis people have like this mental image that the only way to indicate someone particularly like a, 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 a gay man or a lesbian exists is to have them like, you know, have flagrant sex in the middle of a movie. And, and I will note that, that if it is a, like a kissing movie, I want my queers to be able to kiss all over the place. But I also want to get away from the idea that the only way to indicate that someone is queer is by somehow having them do sexual stuff because as we've been reminded by the creepy assholes of science fiction straight cis people have like this really weird like sexualization issue with queer people where like you know our our queerness is judged on if we meet their little weird sex fantasies about us or whatever and and i i do think that we need to be to be able to get away from that because frankly um i'm still a a bisexual envy um whether or not i'm fucking anyone like that part of my identity does not change whether or not I'm like kissing somebody or sucking a dick or whatever. So that's why, I, you know, I, I, I want to see more queer people kissing on screen, but I also want to put out there that this is not a necessary thing to have happen 
and that people are obsessed with it as like the only way to show that someone is queer is a problem and straight people need to like get over it because I don't know are you straight even when you're not kissing someone of the opposite sex I think so so you know just really quickly think about in your ordinary life like how it comes across that you are not gay or you are not a lesbian or etc and I mean it's not that awkward and it doesn't take that much time for a character to just tell you that they're not cis or straight like it's not that hard and I think people saying that it's hard is basically just an excuse for extreme writer laziness like especially in written work I mean you know they can think to themselves like oh hey I'm totally gay or I'm ace or whatever um oh but what if it is not a third person limited view point character okay then you know it's as simple as oh hey I need to talk to my husband about this or oh well I used to date that girl but we're not friends anymore or you know there are so many ways that straight people subtly or not subtly indicate to you their their kind of like relationship positioning that it's basically white conversational noise at this point like it's right up there with how you doing how's your mom and them so I mean I know it's it's a startling revelation but queer people aren't actually aliens and we have internal lives that are not necessarily that different or you know um like look at every heart of doorway shannon did a really great um thanks but no thanks i'm ace and here's a quick explanation of what ace is because you don't understand what that is done and then you've got an ace character and she has moved on with her life and she's gone and done stuff that you know a character does so i mean basically if you can't figure out how to do that that is your problem and you need to figure you need to sit back and like fix in your mind that queer people exist and that queer people are people and that queer people say things that people say so okay oh visual media what, what can we do because we can't actually like be in a character's head and hear them thinking things um i when, when like all the star wars shit came down somebody was just like oh well you know there's nowhere you could shoehorn that into a movie like literally it is as easy as poe dameron standing at a viewport looking out and someone's like oh hey what are you thinking about and he's just like oh you know i'm just thinking about my ex-boyfriend like you know we're still friends and i'm worried about him because his planet's gonna get blown up done i mean it's like one line so and and, and that does not address like than queer people inhabiting the universe as queer people because you know there's a lot of considerations for how you built your universe and etc but i don't think it's that hard of a mission for them to just fucking exist and to act like it is it is difficult is sheer laziness and you know coming back around to this harry potter thing i mean it's it's not only lazy it's laziness upon the laziness of the the author who didn't want to to put that in her books and i mean you know betrayal fans whatever they don't they don't give a shit about that but i mean my god you're having like young hot dumbledore and he's gay and i th that that they're, they're like completely avoiding this issue is is a level of bad writing and cowardice that i cannot even comprehend so Hopefully this rant has been helpful. Just keep in mind that queer people exist. And by that, I mean, you know, people of all sexualities, genders, and remember that ace and arrow people exist because they get forgotten a lot and they live under the, the big rainbow umbrella too. So hopefully this was helpful if you somehow thought it was difficult to put queer people into work, but hopefully it also gives you an idea of how to tell someone to fuck off if they say it's hard. Um, and I will talk to you later. Bye.